set and match Garrison. The women's defending champion is knocked out in the quarterfinals. The upset of the tournament on night 10 at the U.S. Open. Strong Stadium was swinging as word spread around the National Tennis Center about Zena and Martina and all that upset jazz. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tim Ryan, along with Mary Carrillo, and welcome to our continuing coverage of the U.S. Open on CBS Sports. We've got our women's final four, and for the first time in six years, Martina Navratilova has failed to make the cut. Quite a happening today, Mary. It really was something. Martina was 21 and 0 against Zena Garrison, so no one expected much of a match here. But Garrison played terrific tennis. She said that right from the beginning of the year, she's wanted to practice to beat Martina, and what a moment to do it. Well, she came out flying. She jumped into a 3-1 lead in the first set and never looked back in that set. The number 11 seed in the match of her life. Here she is serving at 3-1. kind of stuff we saw all through the first match and Martina's coach Tim Gullickson was looking on with early concern for all first set Martina knocking off that volley you move it to four five but Zena shocked Martina right from the beginning of the match by pressing and attacking every single ball Look at that. 6-4 Garrison in the first set. And the crowd knew they were watching something special, beginning with a nervous-looking Navratilova. Hit the gun! Game Garrison. Garrison holding serve early in the second set. And an upset Martina. Fans were yelling at Martina to Quiet, wake up. Please, ladies and gentlemen. Really aggravated her. She hollered back, I'm doing the best I can. But she's down, love four in the second set. Garrison serving. <laughs> Zena won the first set and went up five love with only six unforced errors. Unbelievable. Martina now at 2-5, trying to climb back in. Now she starts to play like a champion. Her back against the wall, still at 2-5. Garrison too much with the overhead, and it sets up her first match point. And at this point, you really got the feeling that Martina was still in this and that Garrison was feeling the pressure. We saw Willis Thomas, Garrison's coach, watching. Got to be very pleased, but a little worried about the turn of events. Point of the match to that moment, won by Garrison. Applause from Navratilova. Match point number two. A second serve for a double fall. And the crowd sensing tension and nerves on the part of Garrison, trying to put away the great champion Navratilova. Martina saved a third match point, and that backhand set up yet a fourth. And again a save by Navratilova. Into the tiebreaker we go. Navratilova takes a 4-1 lead in the tiebreak. <laughs> Too good. 7-3 in the tiebreak for Navratilova and the second set. Now a two-all in the third. Remarkable comeback by Martina to get back into this match. The thing is, uh, Zena just would not go away. Garrison serving at 5-4. <laughs> 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 
unbelievable shot by Zena. Martina let it go. It dropped in. Garrison now at 6-5. That kind of sharp volleying she showed all afternoon. Navratilova just really battling for her life here now. Match point number five for Garrison. At this point, Martina said of herself, I was pumped up, but that actually made it hurt when I lost. That's the problem. The harder you try, the better it feels when you win, but the worse it feels when you lose. Now the reduce. That startled Navratilova. She couldn't believe that ace. And it brings Garrison to a sixth match point. Two of them in this set. There it was, a tremendous match. Garrison over Navratilova. And afterwards, Martina spoke with the press. I'm very happy for Zena because she's come close a few times or played really good matches against me, and I've always turned her back. It's just too bad that, uh, you know, for me, it had to happen here. But she's too good a player not to have beaten me. I've always said that. But it's, it's unfortunate that it happened today for me, you know, with the U.S. Open. We've been joined by Zena Garrison, upset of the tournament against Martina Navratilova. 21-0 going out there. That's a hard thing to face at any time, I would think. How confident were you when the match began? I felt really good. I know that, I, you know, I've been putting a lot of time in my training and also in my practice. I spent a week in Washington before here, and I practiced really good, so I felt really good before I went out there. But there you were, on the other hand, uh, from <laughs> five love up. All of that uh, good feeling must have been gone at that point. Um... It was, but I still had a little bit of confidence. That was the thing. I was so calm that, you know, it was kind of like I felt something was going to happen. I just didn't know when it was going to happen. Can you tell Martina was nervous? Yeah, definitely. You know, she didn't have that little pep in her step or anything. It's just kind of like moping around. And, you know, I kept looking at the way that she was walking because I knew when Martina's very confident, she has a very good stride. Well, you were very confident when the third set began. You seemed to just suck it all up again and say, let's go. We'll show you match point here because by the end of this <laughs> third set, you had a lot of pep in your step. <laughs> yeah. It looked like you were ready for a slam dunk there. That was a three-jump victory. Must be the biggest thrill of your life. Definitely. I mean, Martina is always someone that I've always wanted to beat, and you know, losing to someone from 21 times—it's just really hard to believe that you beat her now. Unbelievable. Mary, I think uh, I heard her say at the press conference that Martina was her idol, so I guess it had even special meaning beyond just the win. Definitely. What about what about playing Sabatini in the semis? Um, I played Gabby the last couple times in Montreal, and I had a very good match against her in LA. So, you know, it's going to be a very tough match, and I feel very confident going into it. Well, I think you should feel real confident now after a win like that. But congratulations again, Zena. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. You have to feel great for Zena. You have to feel some sympathy for Martina after a great comeback that fell short. Great for Zena, but it was very, very tough for Martina. She left the stand. She didn't even go straight to the press conference. She, she went right out of the stands into the locker room. Of her defeat, she said, that's as tough as any I've ever had. And when asked to describe her entire year, she went in all of 1988 without winning a Grand Slam. She said... If this year were a fish, I'd throw it back. <laughs> well, a little bit of sense of humor, always from Martina, but a lot of pathos as well.